Vancouver Island's got one of the highest population of cougars. And normally when I'm out here, I'm not nervous, but man, am I sort of keeping my head on a swivel right now. I'm not too worried, but still. Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you know that this is going to be a video about the five mistakes that all beginner photographers make and they should make because in the long run, it'll make you a better photographer. The first mistake is when you're making videos, don't need a bo giant bottle of oatmeal with peanut butter on it. It's really hard to talk. Okay, so I think the first mistake that every beginner photographer makes is that they get a nice new camera and they think that just because they have this new fancy piece of gear, that automatically will give them better photos. And that's just not the case. Just random turkeys by the side of the road. Random. All right, so we're back in the car and I hope this is not gonna be a common thing in my videos of me chatting in the car. So many cars in a foggy mountain pass. Here we go, sketchy AF. Yes, I hope this is not a common occurrence of me talking in my truck as I go somewhere. But for now, it'll have to do. Don't get me wrong, I mean, gear is important. Uh, like, I mean, there's a huge difference between taking photos with a mirrorless and taking photos on a GoPro or film or a cell phone for that matter. I mean, you can definitely tell a difference. Don't just think that your photos are magically just gonna improve overnight because you bought a fancy camera. You still have to learn things like lighting and composition and color and light and shadows and how they all intertwine. And that is gonna take a lifetime to learn. I've been doing this for five years now and I still don't feel like I have a firm grasp on. But like I said, this channel, that's what it's for. It's to bring you along on the journey of me Kind of trying to level up and hopefully I can share that with you. So awkward filming by yourself when there's other people around. Anyway, second point is is that I've heard other photographers call this the mistaken savant surveys mistaken savant phase. Um, some guys talk about it as the Dunning-Kruger effect where you kind of start building a little bit of skill and you think that you are the best. I'm gonna choose a different spot because this is too weird. We've all been there. We've all taken photos that are, you know, okay. And we think, man, do we know it now. Mozart wrote 10 symphonies by the time he was four. Picasso's first words were pencil, pencil. Wayne Gretzky started playing hockey with Gordy Howe by the time he was four. I mean, none of that's true, but they were all like these idiot savants and just super talented people. For the most of us, for the regular folk, it's gonna take a lot of time and effort. And man, does that ever take time. And I wanted to say to trust the process. It is a process and it will take time, but do not give up. I gotta get across here so I can get my photo. And that thing is just howling today. Okay, I'm gonna be shouting because this thing is loud. But the third point I wanna talk about is, man, is it a big one, is over editing. I was so guilty as, and I'm still very guilty of over editing. I, when I first started, I thought that clarity slider was the coolest thing in the world. Just crank it all the way to 11, and man, did that look good. Looking back on it now, man, does it look awful. I don't know why we all sort of fall into that trap of the clarity and the vignetting and the contrast. I mean, when it, when it comes to photography and learning how to edit, definitely less is more, and don't be shy to use 
other presets so you can learn to build your own. Okay, I'm switching to GoPro mode. It is way too wet out here to, uh, to use that nice camera. So I'm just gonna put it away and let it dry out for a minute because I actually have a pretty treacherous little spot to get through to get to my next location, which is gonna be my fourth point, maybe my final point. I don't even know where we are at this point. And I hope you guys are still watching. Okay, I gotta get through that. Um, Normally the current and the uh, flow of the river isn't that bad, so we will see how this goes. My feet are already soaked from crossing over there, so we'll see how it goes. In the dark, hopefully I don't get swept away here. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Here we go. I made it through. I made it through. A little hairy, but you got through it. I thought that was going to be more dramatic because my feet are soaked. I thought there was more water in there. <laughs> my fourth point is make sure when you're first starting out that, okay, yeah, you're going to shoot whatever you think is good. And that is amazing. When you first start out, you're going to shoot so many random things. Like I remember taking pictures because the bouquet was cool on a fence post. But you know what? That's how you learn. You make these silly beginner things like that. And I still do stuff like that where I, I'm just trying out what works. I'm trying out what doesn't work. And then eventually you kind of just see what does and what doesn't. And don't be afraid to do that. Make sure you are doing stuff like that. But at a certain point, you do need to have some sort of focus in your work. <laughs> focus? <laughs> but make sure you have focus in your work. Make sure at a certain point that you are going to start shooting certain things like and try and try different methods like negative space, leading lines. A lot of these photos that I'm taking in this video, I'm experimenting with negative space because right now the, the light is pretty flat, it's cloudy out, there's a contrast between the shadowy and the moody and the clouds and the dark and this and that. Just keep trying, don't, don't give up and don't try to compare yourself to other people. It's good to have inspiration from them and to try sort of the methods that they're using. But don't think that because you're one year into this and your photos don't, don't look like Ansel Adams or your favorite YouTube guy, that you're nothing. Because I was definitely falling into that trap. Which kind of leads to my last point, I think. I'll probably do this back at the house because it is really pouring and I gotta get home to my kids. Okay, I just saw a guy on the side of the highway. This is such a Victoria thing in this old shed. And he um, had a make, makeshift hot tub that he, <laughs> I gotta go back and ask him to get a picture. over because I totally forgot to film the last bit of this video because I had another obligation and family time was pressing. The fifth and final point is kind of like the last point. Just go out and make these mistakes. Just do it and practice and practice and practice until you get better because I'm telling you, you will get better. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Get out and shoot guys. That's all I gotta say to wrap it up. Like, subscribe, and share. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.